Hello EFD squad and welcome back to Stat Wars the Champions baby, it's the semi-final, it's crunch time, it's squeaky bum time, I'm taking on a small man with a very big brain, it's Gareth Seagull, Go! Irons, yeah, because of the waistcoat, exactly, so exactly. are you confident, having downed Van Straten, the tournament favourite, what does it feel like to take on effectively the Croatia. Oh, the thing is, often you see in major, in major championships, or either, whether it's tennis or football, someone will knock out the champion and they'll lose straight after you beat Federer, but you don't win the championships. So actually, the key is can you follow through? So logical, such a reasonable, nice bloke. Even if I lose today, my <laughs> aim is to get you to say something <laughs> horrible. Oh, you're not good at Pythagoras theorem. Zing, bitch. Yes, I'm back. Kieran is busy doing work, so I've had to step in for him. Bless his soul. First question comes from Mohamed Alvin and goes to you, Chris. Which is the last Spanish team to finish in the top two that weren't Real Madrid, Barcelona, or Atletico Madrid? My instinct says Villarreal. I think under Pellegrini they finished second. Who are our new manager? Mm. However, I am wrong a lot on this show. <laughs> okay, other sides that might have come second in that period, Sevilla. Yeah. So they have lots of Europa League titles. Yeah, lots of Europa League titles, but by virtue of being the Europa League, you're not coming. Top two. Yeah. Deportivo La Coruña won it twice, didn't they? Valencia also won it under Rafa. Yeah. So I think I'd go for Valencia or Villarreal. All the V's. V for victory. Precious I'm going to go for Villarreal. Yes! Oh, Come on, yeah. Bobby! That, that's a very good start. I wouldn't have got that, actually. I didn't have a clue about that. Oh, I really? Have Bobby Seagull, the nicest man on the land and skies. This question goes to you. It's coming from Joseph Roach, and it is, who was the first Englishman to appear for England in six consecutive major tournaments? I'm trying to look at when did we miss out on tournaments. I know we had a barren spell. So World Cup 66, yeah, final, 70 quarters, lost to Germany. So yeah, 74, 78, that was a balance goal. So, so let's take out those players. 82, so we were, 82 went undefeated in the World Cup. 86 was in Maradona. Then 90, so we had a good string there. Italian 90. Yeah, then we were there for Euro 92, but then at 94 it stopped. So it could be someone from that generation, or someone from the modern generation. Yeah. Your way of working this out is far more complex yeah, than Yeah, I know, I know, this is a tough. Um, okay, I'm gonna go for the first batch. I'm gonna go for the 80s era, rather than the the later era, so like the 2000s. So who was there in 1990? Mm -hmm. Someone in one of those squads. Oh, so Shilton, Ooh. Shilton, was he there in oh. I'm not used to seeing you flat. Yeah, this is, he got a lot of caps. I'm just gonna go for the safety and go for Shilton. I, I would have also gone for Shilton based on the outrageous amount of caps. What is it? No, so it was the other generation. Six tournaments, that's Sol Campbell never would have got that. No, that's it. Oh, that's mate. It. Yeah, so the thing is, I, I went for, I was trying to pick Older generation, new generation, went for the older one. You're like one. one of those injured seagulls now with a manky foot. Oh, pot. this, yeah. You, the, chip, my, the chip's like been taken yeah. out of my mouth. Down, but not out. <laughs> Never all a good man out. Chris, back to you. This comes from Ben Edgy, and the question is, what is the lowest total of goals that has won the Premier League Golden Boot? Leeway of one. I don't know about you, but straight away I thought of Dimitar Berbatov on 20. United, yeah. For some reason, I want to say 18. I think that Berbatov was the second lowest haul. He did Drogba win it one year with 18. I'm going to go with 18, Zach. Oh, yes! Oh my God. So Come I, on! I've got to get this, otherwise I lost round one. Good, because I'm shit at hot potato. Yeah, that, that's the round I'm not good. That's the round I'm not comfortable at. Round one, round three are like, oh, I can't, I can't God, I could be within a, a really taking a... Come on, stop being so amicable. Say something on. horrible. <laughs> yeah. Seagull, this one's to you, and it comes from Khalid Jamma. Who is the only person to win first, second, and third in a single month for the Match of the Day Goal of the Month award? The thing is, instinctively, I have a name come to head. Um, so in the mid '90s, um, Matt Letizia was a god. Um, Le god. Le god. Okay, so Letizia is my inst gut instinct. So who else could have been Shearer? But he didn't really score spectacular goals. He had a, he had a couple. I think once in an FA Cup. A lot, of, a lot of powerful efforts from from close range. Yeah, I wouldn't call them. Uh, Few spectacular headers. Yeah. Again, I think it's one of those things where, in in the new, sort of more modern era, match of the day would, to be fair, try and spread it out more. Whereas in the mm. 90s, they were just like, whatever's the best is the best. Because I don't know the answer, 
Sometimes you can try and work at logic. I'm going to stick with my gut instinct. I'm going to go for Letizia. Oh, Dennis Burke. Oh, was it the one he scored against like, Leicester? There was a goal. Was it Leicester? What a guy. Oh, God. Down 1 0. What a guy. Come on. He's through first, first, first blood. First time. First time under pressure. Loud exaggeration of the name Hot Potato. Yes, it's Hot Potato. And this one comes from Limon Hussein, regular contributor. Absolutely love it. And he asks Can you name all the English players to miss a penalty in the World Cup penalty shootout? Um, David Batty. Yeah. David Beckham. Michael Owen. Yeah. Emil Heskey. Ah, oh. Oh. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yes, he Owen Hargreaves. John Terry, Vassell, these are all the Euros. Gaza, um, let's just go through it. Wade Rooney, Scholes, Gerard, Lampard. Um, I need to get one name. Oh, you said something. I've got one second uh, Pathetic from me. Yeah, Ince. Yeah. Oh. And I am done. Well, that oh. was a butchering. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. No, I think sometimes your mind plays tricks. I think it's one of those rounds where it clearly you've played a trick. I'm embarrassed. I needed that. Just let's move on. Get confidence, because I've had bad first round. The next hot potato comes from Ben Clark, another regular contributor. Love it. Make sure you get your questions down below. And he asks, can you name all the clubs that Sam Allardyce has managed, including caretaker, nearly got that wrong, and player manager? Bolton. Yes. Uh, West Ham. Yes. Everton. Yes. Uh, Sunderland. Yes. Knox County. No way. Uh, Leicester, Portsmouth, Ipswich, Norwich. All teams that you could have managed, agreed. Stop if I don't get, Blackburn. If you don't get this. England. Yes. Oh no, I think you've done me there with England. Um, Black Newcastle. Yes. Oh, one second. <laughs> ah, you, you saved yourself. At Newport. I'm not overly sure. That could have been one of the greatest saves. Oh my God. Uh, take a bow, son. Can I? Can I tell myself to take a bow? When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Normally I'm really modest, I, I, can I retract that bow? I retract that bow. Looked extremely graceful in that suit as well. <laughs> that, was a, that, was a, that was a great oh, that was oh, oh, Palace. Palace. Fairly obvious one, that. Limerick? This man's been no, around. that's an Irish team. Wasn't to be. So, third round, it's 1-1. One, one. It's finally poised. It goes down to who am I? I'm just going to scream because I forgot my phone. It's downstairs. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, should I, what should I do? Should I scream or what? I think you should do a seagull noise. Cacao, yeah? And Cacao! What, what is... The arch nemesis of the seagull. Who am I now? And this one comes from Shelby's bald head. Absolutely love the name. I have played with Ronaldo, Troy Deeney, Joe Cole, and Romelu Lukaku. That's the three points. Normally one of them will be an international connection, so it could be Belgium, yeah. uh, it could be a Portuguese. Player. A lot of the time, that is correct. Whoa. Yeah, get out of here, yeah. clock. You're not even me too. over. <laughs> Meh. Lucas Piazzon. Uh, I'm not going to even entertain this with a guess. I just I can't come up with something sensible. Two points now. I have 13 caps for England, and my last cap came in 2013 against Germany. I'm, I'm Differently. I'm going to take a punt. I'm going to go for Wes Brown. Oh, I'm going to take my time with this one. I think I'm going to go with Aaron Lennon. For one point now, for the seven years I was at Manchester United, four of them I was out on loan. Seems like United player. It seems like it's going to be fairly obvious. Yeah, so he's, he's under but Ferguson. It's a well-constructed question. It was. Good so, clues. So well done, whoever sent that in. So who would Ferguson buy and send him out on loan? I wish it was Phil Jones. I wish he didn't play for England. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly not Phil Jones. 13 caps. He has far too many caps. Yeah. Good player. Puts an effort. You know, I always grant someone who puts in a grant. Nah, don't, you know, don't try and retrace <laughs> your steps now. You've said, you've said something nasty. People start to see the real Bobby Siegel. Hates Phil Jones. <laughs> nah, <laughs> count me out. Done. Is it? Tom oh, Cleverley. Him. I, actually, oh. I actually don't feel that disappointed in getting nah, Tom Cleverley, Tom Cleverley. To He had a lot of potential at one stage, remember? That's, that's a really good who am I, that was, that was difficult. Good. This one comes from Nolan Harrianto and he says, for three points, I have played with Luka Modric, Luis Suarez and Hugo Lloris. See, if you could do like a Venn diagram, that's how I, in my head, I'm doing that. Mm. Creating Venn diagrams, 
and identifying who is in the intersection. So it's like Modric intersection, Lloris intersection. Um, hold on. Oh, I'm gonna, I've got a name. Uh, Rakitic. Mm. Oh, okay. I just can't get Gareth Bale out of my head, but he's never played with Luis Suarez. For two points, I've reached two European Cup finals, but have lost both of them. I think we're just going to have to answer, and then, and then yeah. we'll get the third clue. Yeah, I don't have a... I'm not We've been up here for ages. Ten seconds. I'm growing a tash. <laughs> eh, Dayan Lovren. No way! Oh, come on! Just took a punt there because he lost the Europa League final oh, with Liverpool. Oh no. Look how disappointing everyone is. Oh. Cool. Oh. I need this is it, this is it. This all comes down to the last question. Yeah, that, well. That, that, that I mean, I wouldn't put it past you. Look what you did in the hot potato. I know, right? I know. <laughs> Ooh, love By no means is this one yet. A true an opponent of the highest calibre, this man. Okay. Let's go on to the third question. I need two million points all to play so for. It's two zero. Let's have it. The last two of my comes from Krabby Tube 97 and he says I have played with Luka Modric again, leave him alone too many times, Roberto Carlos and Alan Shearer. Modric is the one that's throwing me. Yeah. Dinamo Bucharest, Spurs and then Real Madrid. But the Real Madrid player I'm thinking of who may have played with Carlos and may have played with Shearer did not play with Modric. Might as well answer, eh? If I don't say this, it's going to annoy me. I'm going Michael Owen. Oh, I was going to say that. Thank God. I was actually going to say Owen. Yeah, but he's not playing no, with Modric. No, no. Um, Just for the Ma Ma For two points, I have eight caps for England, the first of which came in 1999. Eh. Jonathan Woodgate. Yes! Yes! Oh, the nicest man on Stamford. Recount. Uh, that, that's fair play. I, 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 I've lost to the greater competitor. Oh man, I'm not sure I've about lost. that. You're definitely the better man. Uh, I, I am, I'm genuinely <sighs> devastated. Bobs, it's time that we departed. It's time that you got the hell off of my ship, all right? And took your maths elsewhere. I'm sick of it. What else, you know, should people do now? Should they go and check out your Instagram? Should they go yeah. and check out your Twitter for more, you know? Yeah. West Ham, maths. Single related fun. Accessible maps. Accessible. As well. And if you enjoyed this, go and watch other content on Football Daily and you're a Football Daily like, you know, Monday out because Zach's sitting behind the camera. Big so, up. big up. Bye.